Hey everybody, Logan here, and today, yes, it's that season. You're gonna get a ton of these. You're gonna get a ton of these box openings, because why? New controllers. New controllers for the holiday season, whether it's Xbox or PlayStation or Switch. A lot of them for Switch and Xbox. Uh, Third-party ones seem to be non-existent for the PlayStation 5 at this time. But, looks like we're doing another one for the Switch. And that is the Zen Pro. Now, I've never heard of this company, because gillykit.com is their website. There's nothing on here that I've recognized, and this is a white one. So, I got this to match the OLED. Now, what I've seen in two different targets, they have white, black, and I saw one blue one today, but I already purchased this one, and I'm going to tell you now, if this thing sucks, it's going back. But there's no way to tell unless we try it. So how about I open this up, give you my impressions, and we test it out on the OLED. Welcome to Rip Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you Okie dokie. So let's take a closer look at the box. This is called the Zen Pro Wireless Controller. Also compatible with PC Zenput, Android, iOS, and PC Dinput. I have no clue what those things are except for Android and iOS. So, as you can see, these are specifications. Now it says there's Amiibo con connection. So it does have NFC supposedly. Anti-drift joysticks contains two magnetic contactless sensors for improved precision. So that would be more like uh, the Dreamcast style of stick. So six axis gyroscope technology. That's funny because six axis. But hey, uh, so it has the motion controls. Sensitivity ZR and ZL can change sensitivity levels for trigger buttons. Wake up can support with a wake up home button. Swap, change A, B, X, Y, assign configuration. Special AI key, map multiple keys and sequence with press of a button. Little complicated sounding. Most people who play the Switch don't do that unless they're playing Smash and Smash players have specific controllers. All of them have specific controllers they like to use. I doubt this would be one of them, but let's continue to take a look. Electromagnetic sticks, so anti-drift. New patent buttons and four steel ring. Uh, stay one step ahead in your game with semi-auto and auto continuous. Oh, turbo. Magnetic contactless sensor, magnetic, okay. Magnetic materials used to achieve precise positioning by using linear hall technology. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting is what I was actually going to say. Adjustable sensitivity. Special autopilot key, APG. Uh, that's the one that saves the programs. Share function of autopilot recording. Easy to export and import. I have a feeling a lot of that is going to be used with the PC. And so, with that being said... It does say built for Switch on the front of the box, but it says all those other things. So, it sounds like you would need an app. We're going to see what the instructions say. Put that on the side. Put you over there. Oh, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's actually got a nice amount of weight to it. Okay, it's okay. No, it's scuffed up already. No, it's just a little. That's got some nice quality. <laughs> what controller does that look like to you guys? What controller? That looks.
looks like, definitely looks like an Xbox Series X slash one controller. Those are nice triggers. Did these things remove? No. Yeah, this is a Series X S Xbox One controller. Oh, oh, it's already got some power. All right, it says Switch, Windows, Android, and D. So it works with the D. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? So that's the cable. Interesting. It's much different than most cables. Really flat cable. All righty. Now, this is what we all want to see. The Gilly Kit. Operating mode, USB-C interface, charging, wired connection, charging indicator orange, charging, full lights out, hand indicated light, hand indicated light, interesting. Uh, pair the buttons, long press for more than two seconds, LED scroll start pairing. All right. PC, clear all settings. Joystick, no dead zone. Wow, okay, so there's a lot of stuff here. I'll let you guys take a look at this real quickly. Maybe if you want to pause and read it yourself, depending on if you need it, if you bought this controller and you don't have your um, instruction manual. And I've noticed a lot of people have asked me that over the course of these box openings, if uh, they can actually see the instructions or they thank me for showing the instructions so i think that's uh, uh that's something i can do here all right there we go long enough oh. i was just rambling on trying to think of things to say while you guys had a chance to read them all right so they all come in different languages where's the english so is this the english side this is the english side that's uh, professional player mode Shake once, turn on pro player mode, special settings of the controller. They will be saved in the controller and will... This is a lot of stuff. This is a lot of stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to test all of that in this video. So these are a lot of things. I might have to do a follow-up after I learn how to use everything and give my full impressions on this controller. So there is a lot of stuff here. There is a lot of stuff here in this controller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it to just how it feels in most of the games, or should I say just test it in general, just do a random test, um, connect it to the console, see how the controllers feel, and then after maybe a week or so of using it, I'll do a follow-up video if you guys want it and give you my impressions of all these features that are available in this controller. But as of right now, we've got a good look at the instructions. Hit me in the, the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, if I still have the controller after recording this, because like I said, if this is a bad controller, I don't like the way it feels. If it's just all wonky and everything, it's going back. I see some other paper in here. Hold on. Online gamepad tester and debugger. Okay, so that's for PC. I guess that would be that input. All right, since I won't be using this for PC whatsoever, I'm gonna let you guys take a look at these just here. So you can see that really quickly. If you need to, you can pause. And there you go. I will not be using this on PC whatsoever or any PC features. Like I said, and you guys know, I'm a console guy. I'm a console channel. So let's put this over here. We don't need this here. I got my switch right here. So, like always, we're going to... I do have the instructions right by the side. I'm going to see if it's normal pairing. Whoops. 
because if it works like normal pairing, it's going to be easy, easy to recommend. Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, go back to the instructions and take a look. So here we have, it's already set up for the switch. Whoa, I didn't do anything. I just hit the button, turned on, it vibrated some strong vibration, and bam, there you go. Okay, that's already a big plus. I didn't really have to do anything. You saw what I did. I just turned it on, and bam, it said it's ready to go. I hit the buttons like you have to in all of them, the L and R, and bam, good to go. All right, that's, that's nice. All right, so we'll put this here. What game do I always test it with? Cruisin' Blast. This feels like I'm using an Xbox controller. Um, it's got a really nice D-pad. Buttons, actually, it feels like I'm using an Xbox controller. So you've got right in the middle where you'd have the Xbox button, the minus and start. Come on, go cruising. Okay, I'll stop. Just do the arcade. Oh, I love that music. <laughs> I like the way this feels. This feels great. Even the controller itself feels like an Xbox controller. It's got the texture underneath. Sweet! There we go. This controller feels great. If you guys like the Xbox controllers in any way, because there's a lot of people that do think the Xbox has the best controller out there. You might really enjoy this. I want to finish the entire race. Normally I don't. There we go. So, with that being said, the sticks are a little light. Um, I don't mind that. The D-pad is solid. The D-pad is a solid touch. Um, I do like the face buttons. I feel like the, this feels like an Xbox controller for your Switch. This really does. And with all those extra functionality uh, settings that you have that are available... Oh, it is... It's shiny. I couldn't tell just by looking at it. But there you go. You can actually see it there. It's shiny. Um, with all that extra functionality, this is this is a solid controller. It's going to be hard not to recommend this controller. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Meaning, can unrecommend it, not recommend it. I can recommend this controller. Uh, I do like the feel. If you look, it's even have the textures like an Xbox Series X controller. This is the Xbox controller for the Switch. That's what the Zen Pro is. Hey, I say go for it. If you want it, the only problem is the price point. It's a $60 controller. If you want the Switch one, it's usually $10 to $15 more depending on the variation you get. And then you get the Switch Pro. 
if you want that Xbox feel, this is definitely an Xbox feeling controller. It feels just like the Xbox. Hands down, this is the Xbox controller for the Switch. And I can't say it's a bad controller. The price point is the only rough part. But like I said, we have white, we have black, and the blue from the box looked like a metallic blue, almost like this. But like I said, I had already picked this one up when I found it. Now with all that extra functionality, that's the thing. If you're willing to put the time in, program it, do all that stuff uh, on your PC or for Android or for iOS and do all that functionality, if you really need it, that would be great. I don't know how this will fare in terms of a Smash player, but for someone who likes to play FPSs or someone who likes to play racing games, this controller is going to be fantastic. Again, hit me in the comments below if you have any questions. If you want me to do a follow-up after I learn all the functionality, because this is going to just be a ridiculously long video. Um, if you need to uh, reference any of those uh, instructions, you can always go back and pause it and read what you need to read. Uh, I hope that helped. Uh, trying to accommodate you guys who've asked before to see more of the instruction manual in the video. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Remember to follow us on our socials at Red Bandana Gaming on Facebook and Instagram and at RBG underscore retro on Twitter. Again, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on for notifications. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.